stated that many of our communities are disproportionately impacted when a hurricane happens or when a flood happens or even when a forest fire happens. Um, what can we do to help uh, be better ready uh, for disasters? I think one of the systemic challenges we used to face is people had to go to a location, often outside of the communities most impacted, to get the services and information they need. Another change that we made at FEMA was being able to hire people from the community oftentimes and bring them directly to those churches and to those hubs and faith communities. The biggest encouragement we have for faith communities now is to really think about and plan ahead for disruptions that may occur. We're still in a pandemic. And we've seen a lot of houses of worship and a lot of churches have to move to 100% online. And we see time and time again, as the history of our people, people are being innovative, they're continuing to serve, and they're continuing to scale their impact. And just thinking about some of those practical steps that you can take to continue to be of service uh, would be critically important. A specific example is the African Methodist Episcopal Church the National Baptist Convention and a number of the, the faith organizations that serve predominantly black uh, organizations have committed in invaluable ways to increasing individual and community preparedness. So knowing what documents that you need, for example, when you talk to your insurance agent, but also, unfortunately, if you need to go through the FEMA application assistance process, that's a tangible way uh, that people can continue to be prepared for impacts pre-disaster.